These are my pickups for the last couple months. I bought more games than I thought I did. But anyway, I'll start with the biggest one because it takes up the most room. And that is the Castlevania Anniversary Collection for the Switch. It finally came in from Limited Run. It took like a year or so to get here. It has all of the games you would want, except for, I guess, the portable games. Well, some of the portable games. I've never played most of these because I didn't own like Bloodlines and the Game Boy versions and Kid Dracula, which was a Japanese exclusive, I believe. Yeah, so man, yeah, it was a worthy purchase. It just took a while. Technically, I could just press the button here and turn on the the video. Well, it plays uh, music and it has light, but you can check that out. Anyway, glad that I finally got that in there. Next ones are in no particular order, besides the fact when I bought them or where I bought them. It's not a big purchase. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. I bought it. And about the next like five of these are there's a specific reason why I bought them. Guitar Hero 2. These are just fun casual games, casual games. Medal of Honor Frontline. These are uh, PS2. Uh, I don't know. I think I had this on every other system too, Xbox and GameCube. But yeah, I bought it for a specific reason. Another Tiger Woods PGA Tour. Xbox game, Best of Platinum Hits, Rainbow Six, Squad Beast, Counter Terror. Most of these are all complete. Driver 3 or Drib 3R whatever you want to call it. There's no Xbox. Anyway, the reason I picked up all these were because they were a dollar each. So, even if the games didn't work, whatever, it's a, worth a dollar just to get the replacement case, I think. So, yeah. Picked up those. This is a different purchase, but I picked up Black on the Xbox. I have it on the PS2, but it's backwards compatible on the Xbox Series X, and I think they upgraded visuals and maybe the frame rate and all that so yeah I didn't pay a dollar for this but I think I paid ten dollars but very good game first person shooter recommend it picked up this today mainly because it was fifteen dollars endless ocean blue world I don't know if you ever played any of the other well the other endless ocean game it's just a relaxing game where you swim around in the ocean and you go with all these uh, different uh, aquatic life that you see. Dolphins, penguins for some reason, a whale shark. I hope there's sharks in here because they scared the shit out of me. But yeah, it comes with the Wii Speak which I don't think works anymore because I think it was to talk to people online. Never used it but yeah came with everything and it was only $15 so I picked that up this I picked up even though it doesn't have the I can replace the case it doesn't have the manual but it's Revenge of the Ninja on the Sega CD it's an FMB game it's you're basically watching a cartoon and you're just pressing up down left right or pressing the button it's like 30 minutes yeah 30 minutes and 30 minutes of full motion animation there's different levels. I don't know. These games are just fun. And, and if you like Sega City, I was happy to get it. Even though, like I said, it doesn't have the manual and the box is damaged, but the box can be replaced. I was happy to get that. I, for the life of me, I don't remember if I put this on my video last time or if I got it afterwards. I don't remember. I was Awakening, the 8 bit vision version, I should say, which was Glow in the Dark. Came with a full colored manual, developer interview, mini poster, animated lenticular card, certificate of authenticity. I don't know if you ever played. It has the graphics 8 bit. They have one on the Switch also. I think it's a collection. I don't know if it's this specific game. But yeah, I was happy to get this. I got it from Limited Run, but it was by Retrobit. Yeah, it's a game I want to eventually open and play. This game I bought for one specific reason. 
One of my favorite games as a kid, I didn't know was a Famicom exclusive because I had it on a multi cart. And it is Circus Charlie. Well, this is the arcade version along with the arcade version of Puyan, uh, Shaolin's Road, Rock and Rope, Yi Air, Kung Fu, Scramble, Road Fighter, Super Cobra, Gyrus, and Time Pilot. Most of those games I never heard of. I think I heard of Road Fighter, if it's like the one that's on the Master System. Road something. Anyway, but this is the only way. There's a DS game, a compilation also, that has this game on it. But this is the only physical way that I know that you can get this game in North America anyway. And I really enjoy playing this game. So I'm happy to pick up that. I got these other... These are Retro, Urban Strike, the sequel to Jungle Strike. I picked this up because it was pretty cheap and it replaced my copy that I had that was just a loose cart. So, I don't know, these games are fun. I never played it all that much, but from what I played, I enjoyed. So, yeah, so I had to pick that up. It was a good price. This game, I heard it's pretty bad. It's a mixture of two different style of game. One is a driver, I think. And then the other one is kind of like uh, Rolling Thunder. I really enjoy Rolling Thunder. But the reason I bought it is because you can't really tell by that. But the game is gory as hell from what I saw. So, yeah. It might not be good, but it's gory. And that's pretty cool to me. Picked up Time Soldiers on a Sega Master System. Never heard of this game. The artwork I liked and the price was pretty good to me. But uh, yeah, it kind of plays like Rambo on the Master System, and it reminds me of the Carry Warriors, the, the type of gameplay that you're running gun to the thing. 18 levels, you can play two players. So I'd like to play this with my buddy if he ever comes out and hangs out. But yeah, I was happy to pick this game up. Picked this one up today, Ghost House, Sega Card. I only have two... Sega card games. This one and I think My Hero. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I saw videos of this, I guess, and it looked okay from what I saw and the price was good. So I'm not going to complain. And I like horror, so yeah, had to go. It's a haunted house game. It's a haunted house game. And there's ghosts. And you're in the house. Ghost house. Picked up. I picked this up. More expensive than I usually pay for a loose cart, but uh, yeah, the game looked pretty good to me. I'll probably try to get this sticker off. I think I'll be able to. I didn't pay that price. I paid sixty, but uh, yeah, I was happy to have it. Twin Eagle. It's a helicopter shoot 'em up. I played this on. Uh, what was it? Super Nintendo or Genesis, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, I got this for like $10, I think it was. So, yeah, I think it's one game. So I picked that one up. Uh, what do you call it? Silkworm. It's kind of like... Um, uh, what's the game I'm thinking of? It's a Super Nintendo game. Uh, something 2000. But uh, yeah, so you could play two players. So one person controls a helicopter, one controls a jeep, and uh, it's it's a horizontal shooter. And uh, yeah, I'd be happy to play this two players when I ever get a chance. But it looked pretty fun. And right then, I'm on a quest to try to get every N64 game boxed. I already had the game. I just bought the box. So, Asteroids, I'm 61 games away, so if anybody that watches my channel has any, for reasonable prices, maybe, maybe we can work something out, but yeah, Asteroids, FIFA Road to the Cup 98, boxes are just getting expensive. Like, even for this, I think I've had to pay $15 for it. The other one I paid 10 because it has some damage. But, yeah, so 61 games away. All right. Here's a recent game. Like I said, I'm a fan of horror movies. So, Ariel Winter is... 
where is she? Right there, I believe. So, like until dawn, keeping Hayden Panachera alive. I have to keep Ariel Winter alive at all costs. But yeah, I might stream this on Twitch one of these days. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a cool horror game. It's freaking gory, bloody. Yeah, if any of my friends had it, I'd like to play it online, co-op, but no, it just doesn't work out that way. Alright, and these are all Switch games that I picked up. So the Wonder Boy Collection has four games on here. It has the original Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy in Monster Land, Wonder Boy in Monster World, and Wonder uh, Monster World 4. So I think these are the arcade versions. I used to play this in the arcade. I should play this one of these days, the arcade version. Untitled Goose Game. They had this at EB Games. I've been looking for it for a while. From the videos I saw, it just looked like it was stupid fun. So yeah, you, be, you get to be an asshole. And you're a goose. And you steal shit from people. So, yeah. I don't really have to tell this like story about the game. Because most people know it by now. It's an older game now. But I haven't played it yet. Finally got it physically. House of the Dead. The limited edition, which is, has a cool box. Ooh, oh my god, came in after me. But yeah, the horrific arcade shooter is back. Coming with whatever those are. The character stand, stickers, the lenticular cover. But yeah, it's a shooter. You have to use it, it kind of like a Wiimote. But yeah, I was happy to pick that up. This one came from Limited Run, Blood Rain Betrayal, Fresh Bites. Uh, from what I saw, the video looked interesting. That's why I picked it up. It's probably pretty hard. But Way Forward usually makes good games, so I was happy to get that. Mario Strikers Battle League. I heard some bad things about online and other things like that, and it's basic, but the gameplay is fun. I own every version of this now, so yeah, I was happy when they announced this. It looked fun. You could play it online if it works. But yeah, I was really happy to get this. I have to play it, but I am happy to get it. All right, and the last little piles here: Snow Bros. Nick and Tom special. My friend has uh, this on the NES, or at least he did. And he used to say it was one of his favorite games. I don't know if he ended up picking this up. I doubt it. But yeah, the game looks fun. I never played the arcade. I only played a little bit of the NES version. So yeah, I'm happy to get that. Death Smiles 1 and 2. Has bonus content. Art cards. There. It says shoot 'em up. I think it's a bullet hell shoot 'em up. Which I don't usually play. I had this on, I think, the 360, but uh, yeah, uh, it looked interesting to me, so, and it was $50 for both games, or is it three games? Uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, it looked pretty fun to me. Another game I saw, the game footage, and it looked interesting, I think it was a... Uh, Kind of reminds me of. One second. Um, I don't know what game it reminds me of. Hmm. What could it be? Yeah, I think I heard it's kind of like Link to the Past, but uh, that's not a bad thing. But yeah, I'm happy to pick up that one. Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series. It's a Peggy game. It's an import. Got it at my retro game store that I go to. But uh, yeah, uh, there's violence, fear, spiders, and then game purchases. Those sons of bitches. At least they tell you. At least they tell you. But yeah, I never played these on the original. I think they were on the Dreamcast or was it Dreamcast or Saturn? Dreamcast, I think. Anyway, the games looked fun to me, so that's why I picked it up. Live Alive or Live Evil, whatever you want to call it. I'm not an RPG guy. I'm not. I played 
like two, three at most. Super Mario RPG, the Pokemon Game Boy games, and the South Park games. Only because I like the, the what do you call it, who made it and what it's about. But yeah, this one just looked really nice to me. Like the graphics look, look really nice. The only thing that I just found out after I like ordered it online, well, to pick up at my retro store, is that it's, um, what's the, the term? I know it's a turn-based RPG, but it's a grid, grid-based or whatever, which I really am not a big fan of at all. I avoid most RPGs because of that reason, but yeah. Maybe I'll get used to it and then enjoy other ones that I never got a chance to play. But yeah, happy to pick that up. I missed it, missed out when Limited Run had this because I was working that day and I just forgot that it was Sunday. So yeah, so even though I had the original, now I have a double, so we'll just trade that in to somebody. But Axiom Verge 1 and 2, I think they're both on the same cart. It's a Metroidvania. Looks pretty good. I only played a little bit of it. The second one I never played at all. I don't know if it's a huge upgrade or whatever. But yeah, I picked this up today. I'm happy to have it. And the last but not least, Mercenary Kings, the Reloaded Edition. This one I picked up, my, up at my retro store today. It was a limited run game. It's only their second Switch game they released. But uh, yeah, uh, it's a 2D action game that I think you could play multiplayer yeah one to four players and uh look pretty fun from what i saw kind of remind, it's like a running gun like contra or uh metal metal slug but uh you know there's different moves you can do and stuff i don't know it looked interesting to me so yeah so i believe that is all the purchases for yeah the last couple months and yeah it's a, it's a lot of uh, a lot of purchases. Most of pickups I've done in a while. Anyway, till next time. That'll do, pig. That'll do.